Hey guys, this is Chris at Clark Fork Leather. One of the really nice things about our holsters is that we use a very thick and rigid leather and we mold in quite a bit of detail. And that means that your holster is going to need to be broken in. It's not uncommon to get a very tight holster from us. And so in this video I'm going to address some of those issues and, and how to quickly break your holster in. You may have broken in a holster uh, for a different uh, from a different company. This there's some differences in our holsters, and I'm going to go over those. The very first thing to do is to check your weapon and make sure that it's unloaded and that there's no rounds anywhere near your work environment. The next thing would be to oil your gun. Make sure if you have a gun that has a coating or a blued gun that you have a thin layer of oil that's protecting that finish so you're not rubbing it up against the leather. I'm going to start with our chest holster, uh, these three here. If you're interested in how to break in our Avenger holster, there's a few differences with that and you can skip forward to that part of the video here. With our chest holsters, the important thing to remember is that you can't break it in too much. You can't get it too loose. Uh, because it has a thumb break for retention, the rest of the holster is really designed to be loose and allow you to draw the gun quickly when that thumb brake comes off. You want this. You, you want a, a holster that releases your gun quickly because that's the purpose of this holster. Um, you want to start with the holster itself before moving on to the thumb brake. Don't start with the thumb brake because as your holster breaks in, your gun will actually sit farther in and change the position of the thumb brake. So break in the rest of the holster and then worry about the thumb brake. Don't even mess with the thumb brake at first when you get it. The best thing I have uh, for breaking these in is plastic bags. Um, we've started to include a four mil thick plastic bag when you purchase a holster from us. Your holster will come in that. Uh, but if you don't have the bag that it came in, uh, you can go cut up some Ziploc freezer bags. That's about the thickness of the bag you want. Uh, the bags we use are four mil thick. And you could also, there's another trick I've heard of using a sock. Um, it's an old timer technique of wrapping a sock around your gun and then sticking the gun in the holster. We use plastic here because we break so many in. Um, but just take the plastic in a couple layers thick like this and wrap it around the gun like this. And then stick the whole thing into the holster and fit it in as far as you can. And you want it to fit to where it's stopping, where it's reaching the point where it's not going to go in any farther. And let it sit. You can let it sit overnight. You can let it sit for an hour is about all it takes. Um, and check it. it. Chances are this will, will make it very loose. If you need a little bit more, you can add more layers of plastic. Um, I've added as many as four or five layers of plastic before just by adding on to here. And again, keep in mind, you can't make this too loose. You can't stretch this part of the holster out too much in this holster. Um, again, about an hour is all it takes. You don't have to, to leave it in there for days. It's going to stretch the leather pretty quickly by adding the thickness. So keep that in mind. If there's a particular spot that's rubbing, you can address that with plastic as well. Uh, sometimes you need to fold up a piece of plastic into a small area, like say to fill this ejection port. If this is catching on leather and rubbing, what I might do is take this plastic and fit it into that spot to get a little bit of thickness there, and then wrap the gun with plastic again. Like this. and fit that whole thing into the holster. And that's going to stretch this area of the ejection port. It could be a front sight that you have to do this in or a trigger guard. Anything that's, that's rubbing and causing your holster to not fit right, hit that spot with a little extra plastic in that area. So after you've stretched the holster as loose as you want it and, and really get it loose. Get it to where the gun would fall out of the holster uh, if you turned it upside down with the thumb brake off. Get it to where you're really happy with how loose that is and you'll know if you go to draw your gun if the holster comes up with the gun 
it's too tight. You want it to be loose. You want it to where the gun just pops out. Uh, and that's the purpose of, of this holster is for a really quick draw. So after you stretch this as much as, as you like it, then move on to the thumb brake. And by then the thumb brake should be fitting much better. Um, it still could be a little bit away and you, you might be thinking it's too short. If that's the case, what I like to do is put the gun in, pull from both sides. So pull this as high up as you can and really stretch that leather and wrap it around tightly. And then pull this one as well. And pull that, that both up to where they meet. And chances are you'll get it to fit. It'll be tight at first. It'll be, um, it'll, it'll wear and stretch and eventually it'll get looser. So the first few times you do it, don't be surprised if it just takes a little extra effort. You want this though. You really would rather have a holster that is tight and hard to get in than a holster that's loose and hard to get out. Because if this thumb brake doesn't fit tightly, it won't spring. When I pull this, I want that thing to just snap off there. I want it to be really quick. I don't want that to bend and move the leather and not come off and, and make me have to move the thumb brake farther. Um, so moving on to our Avenger holsters, there's just a few differences with them. Um, I use plastic to stretch these as well, but keep in mind you can stretch an Avenger too much. You can get it to where the gun is too loose in the holster. We, it uses friction to, to hold the gun in the holster, so don't overdo it with, with the plastic. Um, I start with one layer of plastic, and I'll rarely go to two with an Avenger. Um, just use one layer of plastic, wrap the gun, as you see me doing here, with one layer, and then stick that whole thing into the holster for an hour or so, and, and check it. One other thing to keep in mind is that the leather is a natural product. It's going to swell with humidity, it's going to stretch as your gun is in it, it's going to shrink when you take your gun out. When you take your holster and you set it somewhere and you leave it for a couple of months, it's going to get tight again. You're going to probably have to break it in before you use it again. So keep that in mind. If you've tried all these things and you find that your gun is still too tight in your holster, uh, feel free to give me an email. It's the best way to get in touch with me. My email is chris at Clark Fork Leather and I'd be happy to help you figure out what's wrong or uh, answer any questions that you might have. If you have any comments or tricks for breaking in holsters that you've used, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I like hearing from you guys and that's how I learn all this stuff. Hope you're having a great day. If you have any questions, send me an email, chris at clarkforkleather.com.